I've always loved baseball ever since I was an itty bitty kid. I idolized every MLB player. You know, Parker, as far back as I can remember, has just loved baseball. He has centered his whole life around, hopefully one day being either collegiate or professional player. I think that's my goal as well as most kids that love the game as much as I do. Let's see how far he can get with it. I got a little speech going here. <laughs> all right. So first of all, I want to thank all y'all that came out. Uh, it really means a lot. Obviously, everybody wants to go to the MLB, but college is just that next step. Either way, I was just happy that it was one more step closer to the ultimate goal. We got the call on July 23rd. Parker's been in an accident, and they are airlifting him to Greenville. The whole way, I'm just flying down 95 thinking I'm ever going to see Parker again alive. It was the hardest and longest two and a half hours of my life. The day they told me I had to get my leg amputated was the morning of August 4th. That night was pretty rough. I mean, obviously, that's a pretty big blow to hear. He asked me, he said, what does this mean? And I said, well, Parker, I don't think you're ever going to play baseball. And um, his mom quickly reminded <laughs> As soon as he said that, I was like, no. And I, uh, Parker started crying. And I said, look at me. I said, no one can define what you can and cannot do. No one can tell you what you can and cannot do. I was like, Mom, there's not a, D a D1 player out there that has a prosthetic leg. And she was like, well, there always has to be the first. And it kind of just gave me hope, and I had a different outlook and kind of viewed my situation a little bit different after she said that. You know, I learned a pretty valuable lesson that moment. You never doubt someone's will. I reach out from a Challenge Athlete Foundation perspective to let let people know what's out there. And we want to make sure you know that there's that the sky's the limit. You can do whatever you want. CAF has been a hope in the dark for us. From pretty early on, I was like really concerned about how to keep Parker engaged in life. Your grant is twofold. One, you receive the Oser uh, Cheetah Exceed that you're playing baseball on. And if Parker's free on April 19th, we have a date for him to go down to Houston Astros and throw out the first pitch. If you think that might fit into your schedule. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, I think that trumps anything else. <laughs> we are so grateful for CAF. Please welcome, ladies and gentlemen, Parker Bird and the grant that they provided is definitely going to change his future. I've always kind of liked challenges and it's kind of always been my thing is to prove people wrong. When people ask me the question, you know, is Parker Bird ever going to play baseball again? I just tell them very simply, but I would not bet against Parker Bird. He feels the power again now when he's hitting in his lower extremity that he had lost. And he has the ability to do whatever he wants to do. I think that what inspires me every day is all the doubters that say I can't. My ultimate goal is just to prove them wrong and to be back out on the field. In the future, I see myself getting ready to play next year. And whenever I do, people are just going to be amazed. CAF has given hope to me. It's definitely a game changer.